Hello, in the past 24 hours we have seen a slight uptick in magnitude 5 activity and there was an M-class solar flare. The swarm of earthquakes near the Rajakins Ridge continues while the amount of earthquakes has gone down just slightly. There was a magnitude 6 20 hours ago at 1 a.m. UTC October 1st. Pulling up some seismograms in Germany we can see the signature of this earthquake. Also here are some in France. At 1500 UTC today there was a magnitude 5.7 off the coast of Kushima, Japan. Here are some seismometers on the BHZ channel. We can see the signature of that earthquake coming in very well. Also on these two stations we could see the earthquake near the Rajakins Ridge. Also today, one hour after that quake near Japan, there was a magnitude 5.5 earthquake off the coast of Mexico and Guatemala. Pulling up some seismometers in El Salvador on the HHE channel, we can see the signature of this earthquake. Also here a station in Nicaragua picked it up. We can pull up stations in Southern California and we can see both the earthquake near the Rajakins Ridge and the earthquake near Mexico. On the Canada-America border near Juneau, Alaska, there has been a small cluster of quakes. One of these quakes was a magnitude 1.4 ice quake, and these other earthquakes are nearby that one, so it is possible those are also ice quakes. An ice quake is when ice breaks and fractures similarly to rock, and it'll cause vibrations similarly to an earthquake. We continue to see an uptick of activity in Hawaii near Kilauea Volcano. Up inside of the volcano there was a magnitude 3.5 earthquake at 7 a.m. UTC today. today. Hurricane Ian made its third landfall in Georgia and South Carolina as a Category 1 hurricane. This storm continues in the northeast portion of the United States. Officials in Florida stated that this was the worst natural disaster in Florida's history. And recently, the Coast Guard has released videos of rescues from the islands south of Florida. Coming over to our sun, about two hours ago, there was an M5.8 class solar flare. Coming over to the EMSC earthquake page, if you have looked at the names of earthquake locations, they are very standard and they do not change normally. These names are all referenced in what is called Flynn Engdahl regionalization. Flynn Ingdahl regionalization is basically a list of certain boundaries around the Earth that are standards or names of seismically active zones. For example, in this list, most of the United States, each state is its own region. Off the coast has its own region per state. Some of the borders per each state has its own region. Hawaii has its own region. Lots of areas off the coast of Mexico have their own regions. Basically how this works is when an earthquake is located, it the computer will find what region the earthquake was in and it'll pick the name for that region and then when the earthquake is posted on the feed, it'll show that location. Thank you for checking out today's video and stay tuned for the next one.